My tumbly is getting rather rumbly. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 100 hundred acre wood. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't know, I grew up kind of watching this, like I wasn't really familiar with it, I just, I don't know. Like I remember when I was really young, I liked the Tigger movie or whatever because it was kind of depressing and that's kind of why I liked it, but um, I don't remember really much about it except that every single fucking person is supposed to show some kind of psychological disorder. Like, you know, you have like, I can't even think of it right now, there's like an article that went really in depth with every one of the characters here being like some kind of like, you know, I can't even think of it right now, like OCD and depression and things like that. But now that we've done that particular segment, we can actually head off to the house here. Wait a minute. Oh, we don't need to do the house right now. Oh, maybe we should. All right. Well, and this is for one of the, I don't think this is from a torn page. I think you could just do this right off the bat. It's not, and it's like if you just went straight after getting the book coming here, you'd still do this, but I don't see why you would. So here we have Mr. Sanders' house, Mr. Sanders. Funny I should bring up that I just watched uh, V for Vendetta when uh, Mr. Did I never even said that? What was that? Agent Smith? Was that his name? Yeah, he was. He was V for Vendetta, <laughs> or he was fucking V. But um, yes, he was. He was cool for cats, that's for sure. And so, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Sanders. Or, what is Neo's name in that movie? I don't even remember, but I don't really even care. All right, so here's this house here. We can destroy this if we felt like it. Ugh. And it does absolutely nothing. We got random pots here. It's like, what are you using those for, Poo? Okay, so we can actually. No, I wanted to ring the bell. Ah, uh, it says ring pulls. No, it says R nig. That's what it says. Oh, There's no more honey left. Uh, of course not. If only the honey tree would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fill. Well, fantastic. Why is there something on your floor there, Poo? <laughs> is that gonna be there in a second? It is gonna be here. Wait, what the hell? We got a mega ether. Hold on just a second. There's supposed to be something in here, right? But wait. Hold on just the sec. There's something else in here too. And we had a. Why is there mega. Oh, because I hit out of the fucking thing. Okay, I never. I always forget to do that first thing. I just completely forgot. We can open this. We can destroy some of his stuff in here. It's like, what is this Legend of Zelda? Oh, whatever. So let's ring or examine. And oh, that's cute. He has himself coming out of the honeypot. Okay, that works in our favor. And I think that's all we can do in here for now. So let's get out of here. Nothing else we can do here. Also, our fire is going to be extinguished because Owl's a dick. You're like, oh, oh, let me guess. You'd like to happen one. Wait, this is Zelda. It's Gabor, Gabor. How's it going, buddy? I swear to God, there's like an owl in every single game I played. So, of course, he's going to be self aware and know that the pages of this storybook they're living in are, you know, gone. So, let's go run over here to the uh, meadows over here, which contains one of the most annoying mini games in the goddamn entire game. I swear to God, this is such an annoying. Uh, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. My dog is barking right now. This is an idiot dog. My, it, like, we had to start kenneling him up because uh, he's been pissing all over the floors and stuff. And my cat was totally, like, taunting him. Like, he does this weird thing that he jumps, like, sideways. No. That's hilarious. Is anyone there? Oh, what am I to do? I'm all alone. God forbid. Oh. Pooh, where are you? It's me, Piglet. <sighs> oh, what's going on? Oh, there he goes. Okay, so this is kind of a weird thing. I don't really know how this makes sense. But you, like, try and go for him, and then he's just going to run away. And then you have to, like, run away again and then find him again. It's weird. And, like, Pooh didn't even come with us, so it doesn't make sense that we'd be here in the cutscene. Like, when he is. So, like, uh, or maybe we have to go and surprise him. Maybe that's what we have to do. We have to surprise a small animal. It's like, god damn, if something this big was finding us in relation, in relation to size of that, we would probably piss our pants. All right, how's it going? There we go. Easy enough. Oh, oh dear. I was just just never mind. I'm sorry. Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. Ah. Oh, you see, I, I have something for him. I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> oh, Pooh! Oh, 
animal. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. <clears throat> Poop. Hello, Piglet. How have you been? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? But, 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? What if you take their honey? Won't the bees be angry? Hmm. Oh. All right, well, are you guys ready for this? Oh, and do you guys like how they changed the command from uh, attack to hit? It's like, <laughs> we're still uh, kind of hitting it with a lot of force and something that'll probably kill something this small. Oh, yeah. All right, what do you want, Mr. Man? If you could only chase away those bees. All right, small morsel of honey. Mm -hmm, I'm sure. Yeah, not a fan of honey, by the way. I'm sorry. Honey is just like one of those weird substances that just makes me feel like bleh, like syrup also. Like I kind of, I like the taste of them and whatever. It's just like I can't have too much of it or else I feel like I'm going to suffocate, which is weird but because I drink way too much coffee. But now we've got a mini game, a platforming mini game, a platforming mini game based on luck. Now, here we've got Mr. Uh, Dyslexic Owl here telling us about stuff. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Owl. He was appropriately named Owl. I wonder if you can even spell his name. Mr. Sanders. Okay. So, there's quite a lot of honey in those holes. Yeah, the, the honey is actually going to be inside of the tree and not in the beehives because that makes a whole ton of sense. And, okay. So, if you fall, you can use the rush command. And, basically, what we need to do is get 100 quote-unquote licks of, uh, <laughs> of honey. Uh, in order to actually collect a spell that we can get for later, or not a spell, an ability. And I'm not sure if it's different in this one, but pretty much when you take out a swarm of bees, you'll get five licks somehow. So it's really annoying. So what I would recommend is jumping towards it and then pressing X to attack it. But before you attack, make sure your finger's completely off the analog, and then um, that'll be good for us. And so every so often they'll come, try and be on the level above where they are, and you'll automatically jump to the next level. So if the guy above me is going to come out, we're going to want to get onto this one. I think we might be a little too low. So just try and uh, jump towards it, and then, mm, there we go. And then you'll jump on it as long as you're not touching anything. And, wow, we get 10 for those? Wait, is that different in this game? Oh, this is going to be easy. Just get it, make sure you get 100, though. And there we go. And uh, that'll be good for us. And the camera is so unfavorable here. Like, especially after you're doing your auto jump, then just keep that in mind. Oop, oop, oop. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Ugh, there. Yes, yes, oh, I still got it. Okay, so they'll pop the B and he'll fall down. And he usually, like, okay, I was trying to move the camera there. It wasn't letting me. I can't move it vertically, by the way. All right, so let's do this. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm doing so good right now. I am so surprised. If we get to 100, we'll be able to be good. We have to get 100 on all the mini games we can find in 100 Acre Woods, so just keep that in mind. So just jump towards it, and then there we go. It's probably better to be on its level. My baby's on the level. Now try to read a mind. And it's so easy to fall off. So just be careful. I shouldn't have done that. But we can do this. Ugh, there we go. Wow, I'm doing so much better than I normally do. That's so weird. See, I don't know why we're getting 10 points for that. It's so weird. Like, I thought we only had to do... If you're if you're attacking, like, from here, you're supposed to get 10 points. Oh, no, maybe you get 5. No, it is still 10 points. I thought there was, like, an aerial difference. Yeah. No big deal. Well, I've already beaten my lifetime score combined, so just take that how you will. I don't know how this does it. Oh, God, see, look at I'm somehow doing it. Uh, uh, maybe it was a good time we did this, you guys. Uh, but this is all we can do right now. And by the time we're done experiencing all mental disorders of this game, we can go ahead and uh, deal with that. Uh, deal with all that. Can, is the most we can get, like, 200 or something? No, we'll get more than 200 as long as he doesn't keep falling. Yeah, he's freaking fatty Pooh Bear. It's like, I'm Winnie the Pooh, but you can call me Pooh for short. It's like, well, what, why don't we call you Winnie? Like, is that a girl's name? Isn't Win Like, what would that even be short for? Like, Winifer or... I mean, in terms of a guy's name, this Pooh is clearly a male, isn't he? I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's not. Maybe I'm just insane. I don't know. Isn't the guy who voiced him still alive, even though the cartoon came out in, like, the 50s or 60s or something? Like, the, the one that he voiced for, I should say. So, I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure it did start off as an illustrated book at first, and that's where I was introduced to it. 
and I never really got into the show. It's like, I don't know, the book seemed a lot like more, I don't want to say wholesome, it just seemed more genuine. No! Oh, damn it, Pooh. I squandered it at the very end. I'm sorry. Please don't get a concussion. Please don't develop other mental disorders other than the ones you clearly have now. Fantastic. So if you rush up to him, you'll lose some of your licks, so just keep in mind. So, ladies and gentlemen, 234 is clearly my score. If you can somehow beat that, please send me a video response, and I'll compile them into a single other video. Just kidding. YouTube got rid of those. Oh, still talking about that. Whatever. 20 episodes later. What I will do for honey. Uh. Um. In that position you were standing in, in correlation to where you were inside of that hole, I would say that was a very inappropriate con comment, considering the <laughs> whatever we were doing. So, Nature Spark, ladies and gentlemen, Nature Friggin' Spark, ladies and gentlemen, ladies, Nature Spark. Rah, rah, rah. Well, you know what? That having been said and done, I guess we could just run up to the Dalmatian's house and be done with it. We could just be done with it, to can't we? That, yeah, we probably can, I suppose. Because, oh no, we have to make sure to give this to the uh, fairy godmother. Okay. Yeah, you still have to give it to her in order to get another summon there. And the thing about, uh, the, did I already say who our new thing was? I would think wisely not to spoil it until we got it five seconds later. But it's actually really good if you want to get some synthesis items and you don't mind going back to older areas with a bunch of magic replenishing items. Which isn't a problem because this uh, summon actually does bring back all your magic pretty much. Oh, let's help this little one. Here we go! Zip zap a little bit of up. I can't. I don't know. So we learned Bambi, ladies and gentlemen. Bambi, Bambi, Bambi. For some reason, I had a nickname Bambi in, in like middle school. Is the weirdest fucking thing in the world. Actually, where do we need to go? We need to go to the two. So let's go talk to you, Mr. Man, and uh, deal with uh, this nonsense. The cavern to the cavern of wonders. It's like uh, I'm not gonna look at caverns the same way ever again. <laughs> so once we get some more stuff, we'll um, end up going to do more mini games in the Hundred Acre Wood, which was really irritating for us. And Leon and Yuffie are gone. Unsurprisingly, uh, they're probably training up for the Pegasus tournament, <laughs> which is where we're gonna have to fight them, which is kind of uh, hopefully gonna be fun. Not so much for me, but we can always go back. Also keep that in mind that the uh, seeds will stay the same and you can go back when you're even stronger and do those then but that's just you know your personal opinion man all right so let's go oh, Jesus Christ all right fine go kill you assholes just because we can and then we'll call it good to go I think off screen I don't know what I'm gonna do off screen I might just go collect a bunch of uh, gummy ship missions and do that off screen I'm a little curious as to what holy G is I think that's an engine like one of the strongest engines so I might just attach it to my Excalibur, but I'm not sure if I want to do that immediately. And so maybe going <laughs> through this door was probably one of the worst uh, items or ways we could have done this, but there's gonna be a bunch of dogs in here now. If you couldn't have told by all the Dalmatians we've rescued so far, they're all here. And I have a feeling this is all going to be for naught. Oh, well, but they're all stretched and they're like, ah, yep, just living the life. Uh, for as many puppies as are encompassing this little area, I don't think we're all very entirely healthy, but that's okay because we're all family and, you know, health comes last. Uh, whatever. So what do we got? More gummy items, most likely. Thank you, Pongo and Patera, or whatever. Uh, Thunder, Thunder G, really? That is awful. You guys are the worst. You guys are going to be the worst presence. Thunder? Really? That's just... Wait, what is that? That is just a cannon, isn't it? Something like that. I don't know. Wait, hold on. I have a feeling we can do something else. Oh, Jesus. What are you doing here, asshole? Stay where you are. Freeze. That did nothing to you because you have absolutely nothing to gain for anything. All right, so these guys are really freaking annoying because they have nothing for us. Why are these guys so weak? It's, it's so confusing. Oh, whatever. I kind of just want to get out of here, though. Ooh, not that weak, actually. All right, let's get out of here. Ugh, okay, I'm out of here. Oh, shit. These guys are a lot stronger than I remember. Jesus Christ. Can we please leave? Oh, my God. I'm not ready for those guys. I almost just died. Oh god, that would have been a little embarrassing. Um, okay, let's uh, take a detour, shall we? We can't go that way to the first district. Mm. <laughs> oh great, these assholes. See, uh, that's what I get for being a cocky son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying, Mario? You cocky son of a bitch. I uh, mean, did you guys ever watch that? It was like one of the first friggin' what were they called? Like, uh, like. Super Mario frustration or something and it was like this guy like in New York and he made like a video of himself playing uh, What was it? It was I think that's what it was called Super Mario frustration or something. It was hilarious though because he's like this, this is worse than an episode of Family Guy. Oh, I can't I can't I would try to do his voice But he sounds like Christopher Walken. Jesus. What are you assholes doing in here? And I just thought that was kind of a silly little thing So this is like you cocky son of a bitch Mario. You're such a cocky son of a bitch. Where are we? 
Okay, I want to go to the green room, that is, which is the opposite way, of course. Uh, of course, just taking every wrong way, but the green door room isn't even green. What gives? Yeah, I don't clearly go into this area very much. There's no real reason for you to anyway, so. What did we even hit? We hit a bell, didn't we? What was that? I didn't think we fought those enemies so early. I don't even remember what they're called because I didn't think they came this early. All right, well, let's turn the camera around. The green room is red. Is there even a safe spot in here? I don't even know, but we have to... Oh, God, why are you guys totally just infiltrating this area? You guys suck. No health? Is the health thing not going to be in here? For some reason, I could have sworn it came back. Huh, whatever. It might have been at a different point, because I don't usually go here. I didn't think those guys spawned back as soon as they did. Whew, glad I didn't die, though. Okay, so we're going to need to leave this way, I believe. Or wait a minute, because that's the doors. And if we're facing against the alleyway, that is going to be towards the gizmo shop. So we need to go this way. Okay. I hope so, because I would rather be as close to the first district as possible. Alright, and you guys are all dead. Thank you very much. Alright, second district. Uh, what the hell? Oh, Midsummer Dawn. Don't care about that. Okay, so we're we're in good hands, ladies and gentlemen. Without the Allstate, we are in good hands. And I'm almost ready to be done with this recording. God, I didn't think those guys would be so goddamn... Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. I'm thinking of something else, but seriously. Alright, we got the postcards, got the Dalmatians, got the Merlin. Okay, I think we're done with Traverse Town for now in its entirety. We talked to Sid... We got our new items. Okay, so next time on uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, I guess I'll meet you guys maybe out in space or something because now we have to manually travel over to the next area, and it's actually I'm actually kind of excited for it. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you guys in the next part. See you guys then.